In the last few weeks, uranium has ran to a 9-year high, breaching $51 on the offer, sparking mainstream media coverage and a run in uranium stock prices. The media addressed this move in uranium as the new meme stock commodity, with the title Meme Metals. Going on to say that uranium is giving the AMC and GameStop Reddit traders a run for their money. Doug Casey, the contrarian investor and author once said, when the market wants into uranium stocks, it's like trying to force the contents of the Hoover Dam through a soda straw. In the last few days, Sput, the fund that helped spark the run in uranium prices, already exhausted their $300 million prospectus, bringing its total uranium held to 27.7 million pounds of U308 in the last few weeks. This had them filing a new prospectus that was recently approved for an additional $1 billion to further reduce the supply of spot uranium. So what is really behind this massive run in uranium prices? Some are led to believe that this recent run in uranium prices was temporarily induced because of the limited coverage on uranium by Reddit traders. Although a small fraction have taken interest recently, the next catalyst for the squeeze is coming from somewhere else. A coming demand unlike anything the uranium market has ever seen. And this could result in a squeeze far greater than that of any meme stock to date. March 13th, 2021. The China's National People's Congress approved its new five-year guideline, a plan that prioritizes climate targets. With a population of 1.4 billion people, clean energy seems to be the main priority. In the last five years, China has built 20 nuclear reactors doubling the country's capacity to 47 gigawatts. China has now increased their targets to 70 gigawatts of nuclear capacity before 2025. This includes 39 planned nuclear reactors, some of which are new advanced small modular reactors. So what has this new demand done to the uranium markets? Well, this seems to be the elephant in the room because this type of demand has already started to secure millions of pounds of uranium per year from the largest uranium producers, including Kazatomprom and Cameco. Within the last five years, China has waged a war on pollution, cutting carbon emissions and promoting clean energy. With record coal prices in China the last few weeks, along with recent carbon neutral goals by 2060, nuclear energy is looking like a better option for China to hit these goals. This is not the only thing boosting nuclear support in China. Recently, China has had extreme droughts that have curtailed their hydroelectric power output by upwards of 30% early last year. Most of mainland China's electricity, around 69%, is still produced from fossil fuels, predominantly coal. China is looking beyond their coal and hydroelectric plants for future power generation. One of the biggest reasons for this is predominantly due to China relying on technology for everyday life. A few of the biggest examples are the ever-growing electric vehicle revolution, which needs baseload power and a lot of it to charge a future fleet of vehicles. As China has recently planned to shift 40% of its fleet to electric, China also recently banned the mining of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin because of the enormous amount of energy it consumes, which is against China's carbon neutral goals. China is not the only one looking to boost their nuclear power output. India plans to build 21 reactors with a capacity of 15.7 gigawatts by 2031. In October 2019, the Department of Atomic Energy chairman said that 17 nuclear power reactors are planned in addition to those already under construction. April 2021, India also had the largest commercial offer from Electric of France for a six reactor build project that would make it the largest in the world with a 9.6 gigawatt capacity that will supply 70 million Indian households and avoid the emission of 80 million tons of CO2 per year. So with the world pushing for carbon neutrality, while in turn needing more baseload electricity for electric vehicle charging and cryptocurrency mining, many of the world's richest have started supporting nuclear energy. Elon Musk recently said that he thinks Modern nuclear power plants are safe contrary to what people may think. 
he stated, I really think it's possible to make very extremely safe nuclear power plants. Elon Musk is not the only high-profile billionaire supporting nuclear power this year. In the last few months, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett teamed up to build a new advanced nuclear reactor in Wyoming out of a retired coal fire plant. Jeff Bezos also recently backed a nuclear fusion plant in the United Kingdom. This year, in the United States, nuclear energy has been given a second life. The US government will be helping extend older reactors with over $6 billion in tax credits to support reactors at risk of closing. These utilities are also being forced to close a lot of their carbon emitting plants here in the West. Recently, Democratic Senator Manchin stated, We've got to find out every nuclear plant that's on the chopping block right now. Get their CEOs of those companies, make them come here and tell us why they're taking something offline that should have never been taken offline. Kaz Adamprom came out with a statement today stating that they are already in talks with Sprott Physical Uranium Trust and that it may supply Sprott with the uranium that they need as the uranium spot market is continuing to tighten up and less uranium is able to be found. They did go on to say that China is also looking to add to their strategic stockpiles and are looking to add a record 23,000 tons by 2026. It's safe to say that there will be continued record buying in the spot market, possibly pushing prices over $100 into the next year.